Hey guys, uh, so this week's box office report. Hey man, we, we haven't done this in a while. It's It's been three weeks. Right. It but, has been three weeks. Like said, happy to have you back. But you know, the uh, uh, it, it's once Black Panther opened, I knew nothing was going to really kill it after that. No, so, I mean, there wasn't enough big things coming out to be actually be able to take it down. Plus, everybody has to see it to see how they dealt with it. This, this was probably one of the weakest Thanksgiving uh, holiday for films that I have been a part of in the last 10 years who was gonna go up against black panther you knew you were gonna lose well you had um, unless, unless you're namor <laughs> last year you had um last year you had encanto yeah ghostbusters afterlife mm -hmm. you know you had you had these these properties you right. know and they they just they went well you had holdover right. uh, for the eternals mm -hmm. so last year was pretty decent this year we were supposed to have creed 3 in November, they pushed it they back. Pushed back yeah. Right, so we were left with Strange World, which is a animated film from Disney that was not marketed at all, and we'll get to that in a minute. I, I don't even remember this movie coming out. Exactly, but regardless, Black Panther does repeat. Uh, it uh, hit grossed seventeen million dollars this past week uh, already for domestic, three hundred and ninety-three million dollars, uh, probably over six or seven already worldwide. Right, it's basically a hit you know that you knew it was going yeah, to I mean, be it was going to be a hit i i think they would probably deem it a little bit of a disappointment if it doesn't hit a billion well it's not going to hit a billion i i honestly doubt that it's going to hit a billion and unfortunately for me there are so many things that were wrong we're going to have a a, a a discussion about black panther in a different uh different video because it's just way too much to talk about yes um but uh you know i don't think the runtime helped it either no it didn't um, but uh yeah so it does repeat the uh newcomer uh, that came out is Violent Night with David Harbour. This is basically Santa Claus McLean. And, <laughs> and uh, the new sequel to Die Hard. Yeah, and you know, it was, it's, it's actually pretty freaking fun. It is a fun movie. I mean, the trailer gives off it to where, like, it's not taking itself seriously. And it was like, oh, what if Santa could come save the day? I mean, it's like, just watching the trailer, if I'm not going to, you know, if I'm going to turn my brain off for a little bit and just enjoy it, it's, exactly. it's an enjoyable film. Popcorn flick. Exactly. So uh, I, w I had high expectations for it. I didn't expect it to make a ton of money, but I felt like it was going to do pretty well at the box office. How well did it do? Second second place, $13 million. Okay. It, I mean, not, David Harbour doesn't cost that much. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, we, we remember Hellboy. <laughs> but when you have movies like uh, like Nobody... You know, stuff like that. Yeah. And Bad Santa. You put all that together, it's it's Violent Night. And it's great to see John Leguizamo back, who, who ironically was in Die Hard 2. <laughs> and now here he is as the main villain, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, exactly. his legs back. I guess I maybe came back because he's in the Super Mario film. Yeah, well, I know he ain't going to be, uh, you know, as Violator. <laughs> we would love to see him as a clown, for sure. Hey, hey, who knows when they're going to do another Spawn sequel? Number three was Strange World. Now, this is this <laughs> movie nobody's heard of. <laughs> movie nobody's heard of. This movie stands to lose, you know, I'm talking in the probably $100 million at least. And this Disney. movie was, uh, Disney put this movie out. Yes. $25 million and so And they far. did not market this movie. It didn't look like that it Disney, was marketed really at all. I, look, the last <clears> time Disney did a movie that they didn't care about, where they didn't market it, they put it on Disney+. Plus. I'm surprised that this didn't go there. And I'm talking about Lady and the Tramp, that whole live-action version. Oh, of yeah, 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 yeah. And it's like, because they were like, this is garbage. So they just threw it on Disney+. Or Mulan. Plus. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, well. They, well, I mean, that was COVID. But yeah, regardless, <laughs> yeah. you know, they, they, they did 300-something million dollars off Mulan. They could have saved them so much more if they would have done this. Yeah. But... You know, and what sucks about Strange World is that, you know, one, yes, it wasn't marketed, but two, a lot of people are being turned off by the, by the, um, the content, uh, for having, you know, um, people of color, gay, and all of this stuff. And it's oh, they're being so inclusive. And yeah, stuff like it's, that. it's really, well, it's upsetting Disney's a lot of people. has been doing that with, through the MCU going, I mean, for probably like the last decade. So it's just kind of where we're going, where, I mean, the industry is going. You know, the, you saw that with Lightyear early this year yeah, with exactly. that and you know a lot of people were turned off about it i understand both sides but it still kind of sucks that that's the reason i mean i think inclusion is a good thing mm -hmm. but you know it is what it is for 4.9 million 25 uh, so far so we're not gonna see you know strange world sequel no no we're not seeing that number uh number four was the menu have you seen this have you seen anything on this i seen a trailer and i assume like they don't know what they're being served to eat and was, i've seen like one brief trailer and it seemed interesting but then i just kind of forgot about it i guess because there were so many things going on with black if, panther if gordon ramsay was hannibal lecter i think that would be the closest thing. <laughs> okay All right, if hannibal lecter was, was a chef <laughs> <laughs> some baba beans and a little <laughs> 
you know, and you you know you throw a little uh, you know you throw a little Agatha Christie type mysteries yeah, like, and all okay. this. You know, it, it, it's it's an interesting concept, and I've seen parts of it, and uh, yeah, man, it's pretty freaking crazy. Okay, it's not gonna turn out to be like the Imitation, where I already know what the hell's happening in this movie, uh, and I'm just waiting. The for Imitation to get that to it. that was probably the worst trailer like ever because you saw like you know the, this movie just needed credits for the trailer the trailer just needed credits yeah, at the end like, like, and yeah. you thank you for watching our film <laughs> yeah you already saw it <laughs> all right and then <laughs> and then the last one was devotion which was basically uh top gun uh the prequel to top gun because hangman is in it <laughs> and uh J jonathan majors Dude, have you seen this i've seen none of these movies <laughs> you've not seen it okay so i've not seen any of these movies like oh the marketing this week was horrible because i have not seen any okay. of these movies now you liked red tails yeah, and you liked. Uh, I mean, we we both liked the Tuskegee Airmen with okay. Fishburne back in the day. Oh yeah, this was another. This so was the this Tuskegee was Airmen. Airmen. This That's right. I did see the okay. trailer, and I even said to myself, "I was like, I already saw this movie twice." Yeah, I saw <laughs> the Tuskegee Airmen, and I saw Red Tails. I've seen this movie twice. I know it's about one specific person. I get it, but I've seen this movie twice already. I don't need a third one. This is kind of how I'm gonna go on a rant. This is how I feel right. about slave movies. No, it's like how many slave stories? Because the Emancipation is coming out with Will Smith. It's like how many slave That's stories? <laughs> <laughs> so I jumped to it. How many times do I so get So I'm next. See, how, how many times, yeah, how many times I get gotta be retold the same story over and over again? So I know that there's different views and different ways to look at it, but sometimes it's just like I I've seen this. But you got Hangman from uh Top Gun and he's again flying planes. So I guess this is Hangman's grandpa. There you go. <laughs> so that's why it's a prequel to Top Gun. Kind of like they did in uh, the in uh, in the MCU, where they took the uh, same character from the uh, the little squad of Captain America's little soldier guys, and oh, then right, right. his character later was the grandson of one of the the Howling Commandos. There you go. Yeah. So I mean, you could do that. You could make it a whole extended universe. No. <laughs> Jonathan Majors is on a tear right now. I'm telling you right now. I mean, you know, you you have the which he does very well in this movie, um, acting wise. So you know. You got this. Now he's gonna be Kang, and then he's gonna be in Creed Three. Yeah. Like this dude is freaking rocking it right now. And then if you haven't seen his his spread on freaking men's health, like just just drop. It makes you drop the Doritos. That's all I gotta say. You know, just no more Doritos, no more Hostess <laughs> cupcakes, no more Ding Dongs. Nothing. It's over. All right. That, anyway, I mean that's a that's a huge comment. Compliment. Compliment. Either way. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's freaking cut. He's ripped. He's freaking awesome. All right. Anyway, uh, so, yeah. So, Devotion was number five, 2.8 million, 13 uh, domestically so far. All right. All right. Up next is Emancipation. I don't think this movie is going to be... Um, I don't think that this movie is going to be released theatrically. No, it's going it, to Apple TV. It, it's going to Apple TV first. So, uh, and I really don't think later down the line, not, not even in limited releases, um, but... Yeah, it's like what you said. It's yeah. like, yeah, I've so seen this. The, the, the slave. We yeah, just saw this not too long ago. The, the story is kind of like, uh, hey, you know, what was the time frame from when the slaves were free for till when they were actually notified? So right. it's an interesting concept to kind of figure out from like the the time that they were free to a Juneteenth, which is basically why we celebrate Juneteenth right. because we did time it took us to find out that we were not meat, but you know, ancestors. So <laughs> it's an interesting concept, <laughs> and I will say that. He filmed this movie with the intent to get an Oscar. Well, I was about to say that. Okay, so now that he's he's having this these type of performances and he's he's pick, he's making these types of choices where his his acting is really going to be highlighted because he right. he looks like to be doing like he's going to put it all out there, right? Yeah. But I think how is that before gonna... the Oscar incident? I know, but how is that going to work? Like, what? oh no, he's not getting one for this. It's like one you've been you've been banned. It's like so he can't get one now. Will it affect everybody else in the the behind the project? It's like, well, can the director not? Will they not want to you know say, hey, the director won for this? You know, the uh, cinematography. You know, the different uh, supporting characters. Now it feels like none of them can win because of this because now you have to then refer back to Will Smith. You know. Emancipation won for best director. I don't think that, you know, that movie that starred Will Smith. I don't think that, that it would. Will Smith, the same guy who slapped the crap out of Chris Rock. <laughs> okay, well, well, two things. One, Austin Butler's going to win best actor anyway for, okay, for, we'll for Elvis. I already know that. Uh, I mean, you ain't seen Emancipation yet. <laughs> and two, if Chris Rock does not come back and just come and, and do a presenting award with a catcher's mask, then you're missing comedy gold. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> no, you can come in with the Phantom of the Opera mask right on the side where you got slapped. <laughs> and you can do that too. All right. Uh, so this is the calm before the storm. 
Now, yes. we're, we're August, I mean, December 16th. This is uh, Avatar. Yeah. We're going back and forth on whether uh, we're or not. We're going to get so many Avatar trailers and commercials. And but, but, Taco Bell. Well, they got items. Happy Meals. Yeah, Happy Meals. And happy with, Meals are coming. And, yeah. With just water in it. And we're like. <laughs> yeah. A bag of water. Here you go. There you go. <laughs> McDonald's Happy Meal, the way of water. It yeah. comes with a bottle of water. <laughs> you know, but. And this is so funny because I've already, you know, after seeing Black Panther, it's like it kind of killed some of the thunder from Avatar. Because I already just, I, I, I'm sorry, I just saw seen some blue people oh, fighting yeah. in the water. <laughs> I, I, I've seen this before. <laughs> yeah. And then just like, you know, Black Panther was ruined for me because I just saw the Woman King. Yeah, and see? I already saw this. <laughs> they they should have spoke with each other. Kind of like back in the day where they kept making the move, the two of the same movies yes, and titling them different. Dante's Peak, Volcano. Yeah, exactly. You know, uh, K-9 and Turner uh, Hooch. Uh, Deep Impact and Asteroid. And, and Armageddon. Yeah, and Armageddon. There you go, Asteroid. There was a movie called Asteroid. Yes, it was. <laughs> But yeah, so I mean, it's it's kind of following that same thing where like they're they're kind of doing movies, not specific ripoffs of each other, but movies in the same vein. Uh, hopefully, they could still make something out of these. But uh, I mean, once Avatar hits, everything's going away. That's what we like to think. But I don't think it's gonna happen. I don't think there's enough young people right now that truly want to see Avatar. They've been sitting back waiting for an Avatar sequel. Those people are already grown up, and I think maybe they may be over it. I went to go. I can't even find my old copy of Avatar, the, my 3D version of Avatar. I can't find that because that's how long it's been since I've seen Avatar. I don't know where the hell mine is. Exactly. <laughs> I don't think people are gonna gonna watch this like they think they're gonna. I, watch. I this is gonna be a Tron Legacy where they think that the mark, they think that it's there and it's not gonna do as well as they think it's gonna. It's not gonna flop, but it's not gonna do. They're expecting big numbers out of this. I because don't. Yeah. They gave him three more movies. They're expecting big numbers out of this, and if this thing just does mildly okay, they're gonna be like, "Oh, maybe there's not gonna be an Avatar 3. Yeah, the camera should have gone back to Terminator. Yeah. But either way, uh, so yeah, so that's uh, that's what's coming up, and uh, I, I I have my doubts. I have my doubts on Avatar. I'm not. I don't think. Uh, I think it's t uh, too little, too late to be honest with you. There's now, a I lot know, of people nowadays who have not seen Avatar. I know Cameron is a perfectionist, and 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 the only thing as far as uh, any kind of confidence that I have in this movie and and the box office result is Cameron himself, and how it invested be, he it is. It should be a good movie. I mean, he's putting everything into it. Should be a yeah, good movie. But let's not forget that uh, that Avatar lost to the her locker for best picture. Maybe he should have just done Fern Gully three. <laughs> Terrence take us over. <laughs> Uh, yeah, make sure, I mean, back here, another box office thing. Make sure you guys put your thoughts on all of the two through four movies because I didn't see any of them, and I'd love to hear if they were any good. <laughs> <laughs> so please tell me in the comments below, as well as subscribe and click the notification button so that way you're aware of all the other videos that we do on the channel. Uh, always make sure you go get some merch. I mean, it's the holiday time. If you, we didn't do a Black Friday sale. That's a new one? That's I mean, badass. I mean, so, uh, I my home. there you go. So make sure you get yours <laughs> for Christmas, for New Year's, just for Tuesday. I don't care. Get a shirt. Help us out. Yeah. For Aspen, <laughs> for Aspen Art, Carla, where they're at. For the geek father behind us, I'm Manny. I'm Terrence. And we'll see you next time. Real quick, uh, if you're still here, if you're still here, because we do these in the end of the video little blooper things. <laughs> if you're still here, look down. Look down. There's a link here for Patreon. If you guys like the show, please give us money. Give us money. We'll take a penny. We'll take a nickel. We'll take a dime. We'll take a dollar. We have some stuff on there that we're giving away on Patreon if you do contribute because trust me, we need help. We need help. We want to buy new equipment and we need an editor. Somebody who doesn't have to stay up in the middle of the night. Or they'll have to stay up in the middle of the night, but I won't have to do it. So please, down patreon.com forward slash the goods. It's in the link. Please do it. We appreciate it. Top flight.